What's going on, folks? Uh, you know, I am going, coming to you live right now, checking out a few things. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe uh, you guys can appreciate the fact that I've got this new, we've just moved into an office, and I mean, not an office, I just moved homes, and we're now in a new place. Uh, my office is just now finally getting settled in. I got some cool lights going on behind me that I really like. My favorite right here, this backdrop, this lion that's going on, uh, my my favorite love poster that you can see right here. Guys, this is what it's all about. This is uh, this is you know the fun thing about being creative at this time. You know we're all kind of stuck indoors. We're all dealing with the same kind of stuff as as a part of this coronavirus life. Um, but what I know in all of this is that I wanted to uh, just begin doing some more uh, engaging activities with you. I, I have some hopes of bringing in several of you guys into Zoom calls where we can begin to discover some ideas about how to better live into this new norm. I think there's this misconception about um, you know, a, a transition when something major happens. For example, I moved from one house to another house, and that requires, and in fact, it was a larger house, and we downsized because you know, we're getting rid of kids left and right, going to college and all that stuff, and we don't need as much. But in those kinds of transitions, there's some idea that that we're going to ha have a new, that like that the normal is going to go back to the way it was. That me and my wife and my kids moving into this house is going to be the same somehow as the days when we lived at the previous house. Well, going into this whole coronavirus stuff, the truth is that what we're dealing with is not a situation where the, this is going to go back to the way it always was. We've got a ton of different things going on in our in our world right now that have, hey, Annette, sorry, I just saw you. Thank you, and you're right. I've missed being on, and uh, honestly, there's a lot of reasons for that, and we're going to discuss all that one of these days. Not all today, but one of these days. But what I can tell you is, is that this is a, a huge opportunity for us to begin to rediscover our world, to begin to learn some lessons and find ways that we can connect at a higher level with one another. You know, one of the real reasons, and I will go ahead into this a little bit, Annette, one of the real reasons that I kind of jumped ship for a while on uh, Less is More Not Life is because I was, I was kind of building something that was like everybody else's stuff. I mean, I was a dime a dozen. I mean, you know, you could find another guy who was saying a lot of the same stuff as me. Um, not only that, I was fearful of what people in my life that I love might think when I start telling the real truth about the things that I believe in and that, and that are important to me. But what I need you to hear me say is we've got to start stepping out and not living into that anymore. We've got to begin to break free from the idea that, that yesterday somehow is defining who we are today. The reality of today and the way things have transpired, it is a complete, unforeseen, unbelievable, and you've heard it, and I know I'm just, you know, harping on the same thing you've already heard a thousand times over, but what has happened has shown that our world, that we humans, that we who live and exist in this world and go to work and, and fly and, and uh, eat at restaurants on a day in and day out basis, we have all been drastically impacted by something in our world that is out of our control. There's a lot of people out there who are so angry about the government's response to this or that, and I'm, you know, I always just think, you do a better job. I mean, everybody, I can't believe, I can't believe how many opinions there are out there about how, how this thing should be playing out in a different way. But the truth of the matter is, we are not here to begin judging what is going on, what is happening in our world. It's not our job to judge those who are making decisions or to trying to help us along. Even the people who are judging are literally just trying to figure out ways to cope. But it's in our ability to have empathy and compassion on every single person. Because what we now know is that there is no one, not one person that can't be touched by a virus. We know that when that virus begins to spread, it literally can infiltrate everyone in our entire world. And that is so mind-boggling to me. What else have we ever experienced in our entire existence? Of anyone who's existed, we've not seen anything shut us down quite like this. 
And I know we're going to begin adding things back and, and we're going to begin opening the country and begin opening up the world more and more. But this coronavirus thing isn't going to go away overnight. We can protect ourselves all we want to, but if the whole premise of protecting ourselves is a fear that we are going to get sick or that we're going to hurt someone else in the process, then guys, we need to rethink every single thing that we've got going on in our entire existence. You should be careful if, as to whether or not you're going to even get in a car because every time you step foot in a car, you create the potential of a devastating moment. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, that this coronavirus thing has been all blown out of proportion. Now, I don't want anybody talking to me about that because that is that is bogus. I am actually saying that we are going to beginning, begin living into a new norm with something that has some potentially catastrophic you know, impact on our financial situation that has a potentially catastrophic effect on those who are older and, and those who are easily uh, prone to getting this sickness. But this is not even about coronavirus. This isn't about COVID-19. This isn't about any of that. It's about how are we going to be those people who begin to, to understand that there are a lot of things in this world that can come in and, can, and create all sorts of chaos. But, but if you ask me, this, this COVID thing has actually been beautiful. It's been something that, is, that has reunited us. It is, it is causing us to get more local while at the same time being able to reach far and wide because we have this beautiful thing called the internet that allows us to do Zoom calls. And, and while I know Zoom may not be the, the, the premier uh, app right now with all of its security issues, the truth is that if we protect ourselves even there, we can still have an unbelievable community. And what I want to invite you on as we get down this road is I'm going to be posting some invitations to join in some Zoom calls with me personally, as well as some of my, my team members who can come in. And we want, to, we want to discover a world. We want to discover what this new world could look like for you, for your family. What could this world look like if you took some of the pieces of the things that we're learning right now and we began to implement those on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, really? Did anyone think that some of our jobs could be done from home? I mean, how many people need to go to the office? Think about the implications that has financially that we haven't even begun to think about for a business who at one point needed to have an office and felt like it had to have that location and cost multi-thousands of dollars annually. But you remove that and now all of a sudden you're free to be able to have people from all over the world, the best, the cream of the crop. Businesses can truly begin to be more creative because they're learning how to expand their horizons and, and, and bring in the best minds to do new things. Not only that, I'm a part of a group called the Exchange Group. And, and the Exchange team, literally they are, are doing some amazing things in facilitating businesses and help them specifically during this time. They completely transitioned their entire model, which was live events where we did this unbelievable, we'll go with mastermind, but it was a facilitation where everyone from the CEO all the way down to the janitor and customers and all sorts of people would get together in a room and break off and brainstorm and think and begin to cast a vision, cast visions for new ways of doing things. And in this process of appreciative inquiry is what it's called, there's some unbelievable things that are happening in transforming businesses now as Exchange has shifted its uh, its focus from online or from live events to online events, and bringing those online events allows us to do some amazing things that we were actually really quite frankly we didn't think it could be done. Well, I'm here to tell you that I've been on a three day event where it was from 10 a.m. to like 4:30 somewhere in the afternoon here Central Standard, three days in a row. And I can't tell you the, the energy that was created, the amount of, um, of just incredible connection that can be made through a lens, bringing us to the world. We all have this idea of this physical world that we have to operate in, the things that we like and don't like, but really what we're missing more than anything that this COVID experience has created for us is that intimate connection. And there's some things about Zoom and there's some things about the online world that have created this true intimate setting where we can begin to explore very focused conversations without all the noise and the distractions, just you, another person or a few other people sharing in groups, bringing your ideas, every voice being heard. 
It's something that I've not witnessed in most companies that I've worked with or been a part of. It's an amazing opportunity. Now I've gone down a rabbit trail. And what I'm really hoping that you guys gain from this today, besides the really cool new backdrop, at least I'm I like it. I mean, my little my little let's see, blue light over there, the orange light, and, and I can change the colors. I mean, like this is so cool. Watch, watch this. What color do you want? What color? Just name it. Come on, somebody give me a color. I'm gonna purple. All right, we're gonna go with purple. I like that. So this is the beginning of something new. This is the beginning of of some more authentic. That was a real some authentic type conversations. Some we want to get real vulnerable and transparent, but I want you to, I want you to trust me on something. There is nothing more intimate than being able to sit in your own home. It's like you're inviting all of these other people into your home where you're comfortable in your zone, allowing you to be truly transparent about what's going on in life. With all the interruptions of kids, dogs, and dinner, lunch, whatever it may be, doesn't matter. What's exciting about this is how beautiful it can be when we begin to truly connect deeper, at a deeper level, discovering what it, lo what it looks like moving forward in this world. So if that's something you're interested in, please, I want you to like this. I want you to comment. I want you to tell me I'm totally in. I'm totally bought in. I'm ready and I'm wanting to get going on this. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to get this ramp back up into less is more. I know some of you guys have been like, oh, less is gone. And I get it. I get it. It's my fault in some ways. But at the same time, it's what needed to happen. And yet right now we have an opportunity. So let's get the message out. If you're watching this right now, let's help build this thing back up. Let's create some steam because what I'm looking forward to doing is building the opportunities for us to find new ways of operating at a high level with great relationships, both streaming ideas into what it looks like to live as a good neighbor, as well as what it looks like to work in a global environment where we can do this right here and connect. So, sorry, my computer's beeping at me. But this is the imperfect world we live in, and this is the imperfect part of this that I just want to be a part of. I want to be able to share my thoughts. I mean, this is going to be an open environment place where you can say what you want. Um, the, the thing that I'm going to push hardcore, probably the only value that I really want to set in on all of our conversations is transparency that meets and demands a non-judgmental openness. We've got to be a place where there is a psycho psychological, I can't even talk today, some psychological safety where when you come and you're vulnerable, that you get to know that this is going to be a safe place and that people have got your back if someone gets out of hand. Because I know what it's like to have haters in our world. I know what it's like to have haters. In fact, I've, I've quit doing this because I just didn't want to disrupt people that were actually the people I love the most, which is hilarious that my lovers would, not lovers, that, those that I love would be the ones that I'm the most concerned about making hate me. And if they are those that love me, then you see, this is the mind shit that we go through. Pardon the pun. You need to, sorry, mute your, oh man. Oh well. There, I let it fly. But that's what it is. The dung that goes on up here in our brains. So I encourage you, jump in. Let's get going. Let's start this process. Today, I just went live with not even knowing exactly what I was going to say. More than anything, just going like, okay, if I just hit play, then maybe I'll get to show this off. And then look, here I am. I mean, I've never been short of words, 13, 14 minutes in. <laughs> but like this, subscribe, like, whatever you need to do to get involved in this community. I want to encourage you to bring that voice out. Begin posting and letting me know what you want to talk about, the things that are going on, and watch out for those invitations because those invitations are coming for you to begin to join me in discovering what, uh, what this new world could look like. Anyways, that is all I've got for now. So y'all take it easy. Peace.